sells more Western wear than any place else around. It's just a little store in North Hollywood, or so it seems from the outside. Oh, there's a hint or two that something cowboy is going on inside, but it's not until you walk in and see the sequins and the boots and the photos of almost every celebrity who ever considered buying a cowboy hat that you realize Nudie's Rodeo Taylor is more than just your basic boot and saddle shop. <laughs> The guy playing the mandolin came west from New Jersey 40 years ago when the land where this building stands was used for grazing sheep. He was a tailor specializing in G-strings then, and somewhere along the line he got started making western wear. Since then he's put together fancy duds for some of the biggest stars in these here parts. When I started business, western clothes was tight-fitting, short coats, you know. Everything was snug, you know, it looked corny, you know. I started my first suit. I made a uh, bunch of suits for Roy Rogers, and he was getting ready to go to New York. And I, uh, and I made him some drape model suits and Western trims. And when he got to New York, people were amazed, you know. The restaurants said, where did you get such a flashy clothes in Western? They've never, seen, they've never seen anything like it. Why do you think people are going for Western wear more and more than ever before? But, <clears throat> I believe they always like to dress Western. They, most of us, we didn't have the guts to do this, you know. But cowboy business has been a business since America, you know. Since America's in existence, we wore cowboy clothes. When I was a little boy, we used to play cowboys and Indians, you know. And I'm 77 years of age, so it must be at least 70 years of cowboy business, you know. And before that, it, it's always been. And a lot of people wore it, and a lot of people didn't. They used to think it's corny. They found out it's a good style today, and... And, uh, and I brought it all out. And they love it, and they wear it, and we saw a hell of a lot of it. <laughs> Somebody wrote a book about Nudie's life, and there's talk of a movie, too. Everything about this man is Western, even his car. That's a saddle in the back seat. A house is Western. Why can't a car be Western? And I come up with this, what I've got. Tell me about what's on the car. Steer horns, 1,200 silver dollars. That makes it Western right there. The horses, the horseshoes, you know, it's all Western. It's a cowboy car, you know. The value of Nudie's inventory is somewhere in the millions. A fancy suit sells for as much as three or four thousand dollars. And hats come in all price ranges. This is just an ordinary plain hat for six hundred dollars, yeah. Six hundred dollars, let me try we, that. We have hats that has more flash to it. Go ahead, try it on. Do you sell a lot of these? I don't sell a lot of these, but as a man comes around here, he sells me a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> well, believe me, partner, you spend enough time here at Nudie's and you find out what rhinestone cowboy really means.